Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time we're going to go through Stowing Away. This is a fun little level, very quick compared to the previous levels we've been doing. So it's a nice moment of respite. Going through this air vent here, you want to hit the first checkpoint for 16 crates. Break these two, then we need to ride the wall. Spin there, jump and then spin. Over here, bounce on these crates up here. There's two there, so be sure to grab all those. You should have 23. Hit the timer, and then we need to grab the gravity mask and immediately flip. Break this next box, start riding the wall here. Carefully make your way across. And from here, we're going to spin this flame box and then grab the Aku mask. And now we're going to make our way to the secret gem, which is very well hidden. You want to ride the ceiling until this point, go into this air shaft that's completely hidden. There's a switch on the right that will drop like a, a barrier on the left, and then that is where the hidden gem is. So you got to be very, very, very well hidden, and you got to be very careful up there. Because if you move past that little hole in the ceiling, you lose the mask. All right, so once you're in this section, you want to belly flop that box, crouch as you're riding this platform here, and then very carefully you want to crouch and then jump before you get squished. From here, you can just run through here or crawl, grab the gravity mask, fly up to the ceiling, and then hit this checkpoint. Wait for the stamp to go all the way, and then we're going to crawl. And then don't forget this box down here. Touch the platform, crouch, and then we need to grab these two. Just like that with a third one on the way out. Belly flop onto the ceiling, crawl here, and then quickly jump and then crawl. Right there, and hit the checkpoint. Then we're gonna get the Econo mask and move our way to the bonus. Okay, so you wanna kill these dudes and then break all the armored crates. This box, uh, this armored crate with the TNT on top, you can stand on top of the armored crate, hit uh, R2 or triangle to trigger Econo, and then immediately jump, and you will break the armored crate, but not the TNT. I show it better in the inverted version of the stage. That's where I figured that out. Otherwise, you can just burn the mask and just blow up the TNT. That's another way to do it. All right, so in the bonus, you want to trigger this TNT, and then just before it explodes, move over and trigger this one. And then you want to trigger this one and then jump just before it explodes. And then you want to hold jump in the right direction to move over here. And then once you blow this switch, you kind of have a minute to rest. Okay, so you want to come over here, quickly belly flop to hit this switch that will fill in a bunch of crates. Hit this four times and then do a sliding jump or a double jump over to this one up crate come over here and then just make your way to the switch don't worry about bouncing on those crates you don't need the fruit there's plenty of fruit in the stage and then make your way back over here okay and then do a sliding double jump to these three crates and then now we got to make our way back to the entrance over here there's two more crates and now we just got to go to the end that's all 34 crates in the bonus all right bounce on this box over here and then we're gonna do a Sliding double jump over here, and another one to get to the end. Great. All right, so after the bonus, we should have 97 of 152 crates, and two out of the three Wumpa Fruit gems. And then we can just spin our way to the end of this hallway, breaking everything that we come across. There is a TNT in this stack here, so do not spin a Kano into that. Instead, bounce on these, trigger it, and then slide into the air duct. Okay, don't forget these four crates here for the fifth right here. And then we're going to go into a bit of a puzzle room now. So you want to hit the four switches in this room. Be very careful because two out of the four can squish you. So the second one, you want to quickly move over to this platform here before you get squished. This one, just hit and then stand still for a second. And then do the same thing with this final one. You want to hit it and then stand still. Great. All right. So with all four switches hit, the boxes will move into an arrangement that allows you to escape. And then you can just Go ahead and move through this area. Hit these, trigger one of the TNT, and then just move to the elevator. I was looking for little Easter eggs in this room, but unfortunately I couldn't find any. If you know of any in this room, let me know. Okay, ride the elevator down, and then we just got to go through this final hallway, which has one little tricky section, um, but the rest is pretty easy. So grab the Econo Mask, break these boxes, and then you want to make your way across. The flashback tape is right here, kind of hard to see. All right, and then from here, you can literally just spin through the hallway, and you're fine. 
Careful to break these one-ups. Just trigger the TNT if you don't need it. And then that will be the last five crates. And then you can just spin to the end, killing everything in sight. Um, stowing away is a nice little respite, like I said, from the previous levels. And it's a very easy level compared to what is next in Crash Landed. But we'll get to that when we get to that. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.